Learn to grow a self-sustaining garden wherever you are and much more. Hit the follow button. Alright? Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Amin Adele, aka Green Grow Guy, and today I am showing you guys how to plant some carrots. Alright? Um, what I did was I actually germinated them first, um, small, just to get them started on the way in little four inch pans or pots, excuse me. Um, and now I'm going to transplant them into a 15 gallon um, pot that is cloth and portable. I suggest this is the route you go when you're growing carrots, um, especially during the summer because these are plants that need full sun. But sometimes the sun, I notice, can be too intense for them and it'll make them wilt anytime your plants start to wilt or you overwater them um, or you transplant them. Um, you kind of stunt them. So you want them to have a nice flow of growth the whole time they're growing. So portable pots are usually the way to grow, go, especially when you're urban farming, um, because it, you, you know, it really helps you utilize your space the most efficient way. So let's get started. Okay, now I moved the four little pots out, um, and as you see, I dug four holes. I'm approximately about the size of the pots that I'm removing out of. You're going to want to leave a little bit. Probably want the, the actual uh, transplant to stick out about that much above the soil because you don't want to like bury the actual plant. Okay, and I'm going to show you guys that. One of the things I want to tell you also, a few things, um, is number one, you're going to want this soil that you're using to be loose. Okay, so you're going to be able to move it real, real easy. Um, because that's going to help your your plants root, your flat, your carrots grow. Okay. Um, another thing that I want to tell you is you'll watch a lot of YouTube videos, and you'll see somebody plant carrots or any type of fruit and vegetable, and they got 9,000 chemicals, you know, um, in the pot um, just to sprout it and make it grow. Um, honestly, guys, it's unnecessary. Like you know. Um, for me, myself, I try to grow as clean as possible, which means using the least amount of chemicals as possible, even when it comes down to the soil. You know what I mean? So um, this is, and I'm not spending lots of money on the soil either, guys. Um, this is just true, you know what I mean, um, pot and soil here. Um, I buy it for $3.50 a bag, all right? Now, I do, I do fertilize my plants, but it's actually a mix, and I do it maybe every, twice a month. Um, other than that, I don't add anything into the soil except water and, and sunlight, okay? So I try to grow as clean as possible. Um, you're going to notice that it makes it easier for you, the grower, as well. That sometimes what makes it difficult for people that are starting to grow is that they feel like they have to follow this heavy fertilizer um, regimen. But you really, honestly, you don't. Um, it will maybe add like an extra five days or so. Um, but to be honest with you, if your fruits and vegetables are getting adequate sunlight and you're watering them right, you really don't need a lot of additives. Okay? Um, pruning is another way. Um that you know i use i use it almost as a fertilizer because what it does is it delivers nutrients to the places that um the plant needs it all right so there's other ways that you can go about you know growing fruits and vegetables besides you know throwing heavy chemicals in, in the soil you know expecting that to um make up for um error that you might have going along the way as far as growing um, but know that you just really need good, decent soil, seeds, water, sunlight, and a way to protect your food. Like, you know what I mean? Those are the most important things. Okay, guys. As you can see, I took the four pods out of the little four-inch pots. Boom. That's the other empty. And I placed them in here. What I want you guys to notice is how they're sticking up a little bit that's very important because the last thing you want to do is start burying too much of this because you're going to wrap the plant now i know you're looking at this and you're like they look all scraggly this is how carrots start out guys and i'm about to show you guys a trick on how to maximize your carrot uh production here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put the soil lightly around 
lightly, very lightly, because I'm about to show you guys a trick. Oh no, sorry guys. Okay, everybody, now that you see the four pods planted, um, I'm going to get a little closer here and show you. You can see I left a little bit of it sticking up, okay? And maybe a half an inch around my little pods are sticking up, and I'm about to tell you why. Before I do, let me give you some quick information about carrots. Um, carrots are a plant you can grow all year round. Um, just know that anything over 85 degrees and temperature is going to make your carrots very slow growing and they're going to be affected by the heat. Um, I can grow them all year round. Um, even though I do, we do hit high temperatures here, um, I can pull them in a shaded area um, and keep them moisturized really well because that's very important with carrots, along with very loose soil. Okay, you always want to keep the soil very loose with carrots because that helps determine the size of the carrot. Okay, so you want the soil to be pretty loose. Now, now that I planted these four pods here, what I'm going to do is I always take a little bit and know that when you start growing carrots, they always look scraggly like this. This is my second year growing them, and the first year that I grew them, they were looking really scraggly like this, and I was really worried. Um, but I promise you. Um, by the end of the season, it looked like one of the carrots with the long, fluffy hairs um, from the supermarket. So what I'm going to do is literally take these carrots, four four dollar carrots you can get at Family Dollar, and I'm just going to lightly sprinkle them up in here. Okay, just lightly sprinkle them up in there. Use the whole thing. Don't be shy. You know what I mean? Once I do this and I sprinkle everything in there, I take another light, maybe inch of soil. And put on top. At the end, your finished product should look like this. Now you can no longer see the pods, the top of the pod sticking out, and you covered all the seeds you sprinkled in. One of the reasons why I do this is because it helps with germination. Some of the plants are already being germinated, and then when the seeds come up, they feed off of one another. Um, it's very helpful. Um, using a grow bag. This is a 10 gallon grow bag. Using this grow bag to grow carrots, especially if you're not experienced with growing them, really helps you with um, maintaining the, the adequate water or moisture that they need to survive. Okay, like I said, they start out really scrawny like this, um, but in the course of maybe a month and a half, you'll see a really big difference in improvement if you're taking care of them. Um, carrots take about anywhere between, I would say, 55 days and 70 days to harvest, okay? Know the more carrots you have and you plant, the smaller they will be. Um, also know the harder the soil, okay? Um, the, the drier um, the carrot will be. So you want to make sure you always have it in really great soil, all right? I want to thank everybody for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below. I'm Amina Dell, a.k.a. The Green Grow Guy. See you next time.